Hey everyone, Rarity Dash here, time for another Genlock Blind Reaction. And today I'm looking at episode 3 of Genlock, titled Second Birthday. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. I, uh, I liked the first two episodes, I thought they were pretty promising, and the series, it looks like it's going to be pretty good. Which, uh, is not that surprising, considering how much Rooster Teeth has put into it. But, uh, it's looking like it's going to pay off, and I'm looking forward to, uh, just getting to know these characters better, and, uh, like, learning more about the series. There's still so much we don't know. Like, uh, especially, and I keep harping on this, but I don't know who we're fighting and why, which is kind of uh, something I hope we get to pretty soon. I mean, it could be, like, the ultimate reveal of the show, but I hope not. I, I, I want to know why this conflict is going on and what it's all about, and uh, I don't think they should, should save that for some kind of twist. Uh... Though, I guess we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what they decide to do. Uh, I'm recording this before you guys have even seen my reaction to episodes 1 and 2. Uh, because I, I wasn't able to react to it very promptly last week. Mostly because of how long it was with the double episodes. Uh, it was like an hour in total. So uh, scheduling that in was difficult. And I didn't get the video up until Thursday as a result. So I just did not give myself enough time to have it ready for you guys on Saturday uh, but hopefully you'll have seen that now by the time... Well, obviously, I'm not going to put this one up until uh, you guys have seen the other one. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what everyone thought of the first two episodes and all that stuff. Because uh, I still don't really know. I still I haven't watched any reactions. I still uh, only have my experience with this so far. Uh, but, uh, yeah, episode three, second birthday... Not really sure what that means, uh, like, uh, is it gonna go more into Julian and his, uh, his circumstances here with, uh, I guess kind of being reborn? Is that what we're talking about? Since he was, uh, basically killed and then brought back from the brink? Uh, is that how we're having his second birthday? Or... <laughs> well, that's really the only thing I can think of, so that's probably... Uh, gonna be it, so maybe it's gonna be something completely different that I couldn't predict because I don't, it hasn't really been introduced yet. Uh, I don't know, but I'm excited, so let's just go ahead and jump in. Here we go. Rooster Teeth. And we got this intro, Chase. But I do like this intro. Genlock, Michael B. Jordan, Dakota Fanning, that person, <laughs> Maisie Williams, Koichi Yamadera, Asia Kate Dillon, Robots. I don't know this song well enough to hum along yet, but that will come I imagine. David Tennant. <laughs> yeah, I don't have it quite down. Pretty cool. There's our crew. All right. Are you mental? Oh. Dr. Weller, please report to us. The polity grabs us, telling us there's a science project only we can help with. We get shipped to the middle of nowhere, only to be lumped in with a union spy who tries to kill us. Yeah. Because he tried to use the very same tech you're trying to plug us into, and now we're supposed to carry on la la. la yeah, that's gotta be uh, pretty concerning. Just watching that. Privacy windows, please. You wow. Have the gist of it, but I'd apply a less sarcastic tone. I think sarcasm helps us see things more clearly. <laughs> Nante yuhi ga kuru to na. 
Dr. Weller, please report to I'll us. be there in a minute. Valentina, you're quiet. Sometimes it's simply fun to watch. We're not here for fun. You sure? Look at this crazy party you've thrown. And you invited a spy, now dead. <laughs> a ghost, also dead. I take offense to that. Hosted by the absent-minded professor and the union stray he took in. You have no idea. Yes. yes. I no idea the cost to be here. All I want to be here. I want to fight them. Why like me? are so you do here? not lecture me oh. about the cost it of was fighting. not my union! Okay. Dr. Weller, you are urgently requested to join Colonel Marine in Ops. Mix into my lab again without permission, and I will rewrite you to speak only in Gilbert and Sullivan lyrics. Wow. Well, that'd be kind of fun. More of a Dylan fan, I suppose. <laughs> well, this conversation has been delightful, but I believe it's the Colonel's turn to berate me. Chase, feel free to take over. You can't make things worse, I don't think. Understood. B-103 and B-104 will maintain suppression until transports are past the 88. Yes, ma'am. I'm transferring you to Anvil Tactical. They'll coordinate the withdrawal from here. Acknowledged. Anvil Tower, Colonel Marine. ETA till the medevacs arrive. Two hours, ma'am. We'll be ready to receive them in front of Hangar 2. Page me when they land. Damn it. That didn't sound good. It wasn't. Follow me. We need to figure out your next destination. That's funny. You make it sound like we won't be staying. You're compromised. Wherever Holcroft was sending you next, it's time to go. Union knows you're here. Hmm. Then it's a good thing you transferred us, isn't it? We're better to dig in than one of the Vanguard's biggest strongholds. They'd be fools to attack. They did just attack. A Union operative replaced one of your recruits. Got on yeah, my base yeah. With nanotech on him. Dios, Ayunanos. I can help with that. I've had some thoughts about the signal they used. It was a massive risk bringing you here. It made sense when I thought it would give us a better chance in the war. But I do not believe the risk is worth wasting. I'm pretty sure it's going to pay off. Soldiers out of these children. They are hardly. Children. Yeah, I mean. Let me go. Well, her maybe. She's pretty young looking. What is that? What's with the little robot animal? Why is that a thing? Valentina, yo. バレンティナの言う通りかもな。ここに来てたった一日で、ユニオンは俺たちを囚人のように拘束してる。うん、I you could have more candidates if you'd work on advancing Genlock. And I will, but I can't do that, recruit, and make the program field ready all at the same time. I'm only one person. I can't just clone myself. Uh... Believe me, I've tried. <laughs> okay, I was about to say. Benefit of sure about that? Please. We haven't even begun that. But he's tried. Yet. The problem is more fundamental. Look at their files. Their lives were in disarray to begin with. Now they're in shock with the very okay. first attack. By their very nature, Genlock candidates are the most resilient, adaptable people you'll ever meet. They'll get past this. I guarantee they'll become the best fighters you've ever seen. I'm not here I believe to fight. It. I was told I was needed for scientific research. Well, yeah, research on how to fight better? <laughs> I was in the resistance against the Union even before New York. I've been fighting one way or another my whole life. I'm done now. And you'll need more than that android if you try to stop me from going. You want to leave? Genlock will give us the edge we need to strike back. More revenge. What's that going to solve? War never changes anything. People themselves are the problem, and more fighting won't alter that. I've done my bit. Let the world tear itself apart. I'm going to live it up while I can. Hmm. I'm going to leave a beautiful corpse, an open bar tab, and no regrets. Self-fulfilling prophecy. Sto? You're going to go live it up like there's no tomorrow, which is going to make sure there's no tomorrow. I can guarantee you'll have one last regret as the Union Nano hits wherever you've been partying at. You'll think. 
maybe I could have changed this. And I didn't. It's a bit late for regrets now, isn't it? Let's not forget, the Union wouldn't be hunting us if Genlock hadn't been militarized. They would come for you, one way or the other. Even if you'd stayed on the West Coast, six months from now, you'd be dead or conscripted, and the Union would take Genlock anyway. Six months? That's Command's estimate. Six hmm. months till the polity is pushed out of North America. Unless we turn the tide. Go tell your recruits. See if that motivates them. Even if you don't trust me, listen to the doctor. Trust him. I trust no one. It's why yeah. I'm still alive. In a way, she's right. You all are. I'd like to start over. Wouldn't we all? I'm glad you don't blindly give trust. Sign of a reasonable mind. But we do need to start somewhere. Let's get to brass tacks. You are all we've got. Way to sell it. <laughs> you have an opportunity no one else has to master this new technology. And in doing so, perhaps turn the tide of the war. You think we're going to Luke Skywalker the war for you? That's a very nice fairy tale. I'm going to go to the war with you, but I'm going to go to the war with you. I'm going to go to the I wouldn't want it any other way. If you want to return to your previous lives, I'll tell the Colonel anything you want, that you were incompatible after all. You'll be free to go. All I ask is that you try Genlock one time. That might solve him. I'm crazy about trusting my brain to a piece of yeah, yeah. man <laughs> right in front of me. Yeah, yeah. He does do something besides kill us, am I right? Chase, you're still mixing in from your Holland? A affirmative. Why don't you let our vanguard friends know we're ready for a lesson? Are we going to yeah, demonstrate? Do you mind uploading, go set up the playground? Of course, Doctor. Caliban? Are we to use the hangar? I mean, giant robots are pretty cool. That might be the best way. <laughs> best way to sell it. Over by Hangar 2. And we'll ground. This is ESU 2. Homa is waking up, taxiing to staging area 1. ESU 2, Anvil ground. Clear taxi, hold at 35 right for landing track. Taxi and hold, ESU 2. So let it, yeah, yeah. Seen. She's controlling it from here. She is the mech now. Her mind has uploaded to the cyber brain. So they really did have okay. no idea what they were, they were, they were there for. Kind of cool when it works. It works <laughs> fine, provided you are psychologically fit and neurologically compatible with the system. Might as well put your brain in a microwave. Wow. <gasps> so, who wants to give it a go? <laughs> Edazan? Yeah, cause of the easy. What? I just never met anyone named after a kazoo, is all. Wow. That's what I said. Endoshitoku. Miss Romanison, then? Uh, Fahal? Valentina, please. And not yet, thanks. Yeah, you. She seems like she'd be the most up for it. Yes. Really? Can you give me a few days to QC your code at least? Fortune favors the bold. Wow. <laughs> you know you want to. Oh, really? Okay, we get it. You still got game. You on the other hand, never had it. Man, I might actually get bored. Maybe if you turned off aim assist. Wow. What you talking about? Wow. What are those for? Presents. Are your Vanguard companions joining or not? I mean, yeah, they're supposed to joint training and all that. Yeah, here they come. Then you don't think this is oh. weird? I didn't say that. I think it's weird. <sighs> I want to be welcoming and all, but... Please, let it go. I will find a way to talk to him. Do you want me to tell him about us? Do I need to... Oh! Out of your mind? Oh! So. <laughs> I didn't realize that was a thing.
mean, there was like a scene with him before, I believe, but it didn't really clarify. Chase and Yazimon are downstairs, ready to catch you. Are you ready, Miss McLeod? <sighs> Down the rabbit hole. Let's do uh -huh. this. Clear your mind. Listen to your breathing. The goal is to lower heart rate and blood pressure. Just relax. Just be. You should sense a pulse. A repeating pressure you've never felt before at the edge of your mind. That's Gen Mox Sink Signal. Looking for you. Give in to it. Reach for it. Go to that sensation. Go to the light. Grab it. And then hang on. Kazoo. Kazoo. <laughs> if I wink out, you can have my manga collection. Manga <laughs> nante gaki no yomu mon da. What's wrong with you? Wow. Yes. If she does read manga, she should be more used to Japanese names. That's uh, a bit inconsistent. And there we go. You're a robot now. I assume it's going to get a bit more custom. That's like pretty basic. Okay, second birthday in terms of uh, being reborn as a robot, I guess. Uh, learning how to walk. The line kinda drove it home. Well, Jesus, I'm told. Well, yeah, you're almost four stories. No, I mean, I'm really tall. Like, my legs are wrong or something. You have a new center of gravity. Your legs are longer, proportionally speaking. I only had enough time to design one frame to give you all, so I want ah. some idealized ratios plus some stylistic touches. You'll adapt over time. Ah, my beards are showing. Wow. Uh, who's next, Doctor? Okay, they actually want to try it now. <laughs> Oh, cool. I mean, I guess it's it is pretty awesome. <laughs> you have a variety of physical feedback indicators coming from all over the hollow. I can work with this. Hmm. Volition and perception all looking good. No signs of cyber attacks here. Excellent. Let's everybody gather outside and we'll get going on engram formation. Oh, and <laughs> Happy second birthday. There we go. As many happy returns as possible. Welcome to your new body. Impervious to organic damage wow. by virtue of having... <laughs> One of them having a little more trouble than the other two. Wide variety of benefits due to running your mind as code. There's so much we'll need to go over, but for now, just go play. Wow. Kazu, think fast. Okay. Football. No, football around. Yeah, this seems a little, <laughs> a little reckless. <laughs> And she's moving a lot better now, all of a sudden. Oh. Wow. Never mind. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, uh... Oh, this is... And paying attention, please, Kami. Sorry. Hmm. Sorry. They've had years of field experience, and they are very generously donating their time to train you up. So, heed them well. 
School starts for real tomorrow. Doesn't mean we can't have some fun, though. We're going to do a round of cool. capture the flag. I was wondering if she was going to be one of them. Just one of you has to get past us. Touch the flagpole back there. We hit you, you're out. Spread out on the other side of that line, and let's get started. Okay, let's go again. You can use the nearby structures as cover. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I need need a bit more strategy here. Wow. No problem. You're not expected to win right out of the gate. Let's go again. Another song. I guess there's gonna be a Genlock soundtrack eventually. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not really the best strategy anyway, but... We're missing one. Jody, she got past you. Oh. Oh. Really close. <laughs> Do you see the look on her face? Not that she's got a face, but... Alright, I think there's enough punishment for one day. Let's pack it in. Oh no, we ain't quite done. Let's show them the goal. Sorry. Oh. Let's show them what they can do once they're trained up. Care if I give it a shot? What are you up to? What? In school. All right. Let's see what you can do. Everybody oh. reset. Is she up for this? Oh. There's going to be some variety to the inevitable Genlock soundtrack. Oh, wow. I mean... Wow. <laughs> okay, well, I don't want to get anywhere near exceeding uptime, which is a concept for later. Let's call it a day. Oh, well, that's interesting. Uptime. Is that like a limit to the time they can be? All right, we got to clear out. Striders back to maintenance. Genlock team, go. That's definitely going to come up again. This looks, uh... I've only seen it before in the news feeds. You get numb to it when all you see are vids going by. Needless aggression. Unscrupulous greed. Unchecked hate. To have the images, the headlines, incessantly thrust at you, hour after hour, years at a time. You normalize to it. They want you to go numb become indifferent or lose yourself in distractions for it to feel like the evil in this world and all its machinations are too big to challenge that loss of control leads to despair to re-engage to claw back even the tiniest sense of control you don't have to save the world you just have to make a difference where you can with the opportunities you are given that's all I'm asking 
Okay. These ideals, you make it sound so simple. It's not. I had such high hopes for how Genlock could be used to expand communications, understanding, improve the human condition, all its potential. And of course, the first thing we do is weaponize it. But maybe, just maybe, if we're made to fight, we can apply it a new way. Save more lives, protect those who can't protect themselves, buy some time for others to end the war. And after that, who knows what we can achieve together. And build a better peace. I'd still say you'd have to solve humanity itself. So sorry. You can't, but you can step up when you see it. And we got a very special chance to help more than anybody else. What is Genlock if not the next step in humanity's evolution? And you can be the first to see where it takes us. You want in? More or less. We have rescue duties. Absolutely. Won't be all you do, I suspect. But we get you toys. As many as we can build. Hey, put it there. Yeah. Uh oh. Looks like we got a team. We should celebrate. Jean No, gaming. There's this level in Siege 2 I've been trying to keep. He's gonna help me while I fight the dragon. You just need to clear up all the bad stuff. You didn't tell them about the six months. Oh. No. Oh, yeah. I myself to do it. They have to choose for themselves, not out of some clumsy guilt trip. Interesting. I can't help but notice you put them right <laughs> next to where the medevacs were arriving. Oh. <laughs> Did I do that? Oh, okay, some uh, casual manipulation. What is happening to my race? Oh, and, uh, the Gilbert and Sullivan thing. <laughs> okay. So that guy is like a, uh, that weird looking dude's like some, some sort of android. If he can be like programmed, I guess. I don't know. Well, that was, uh, that was pretty cool. I mean, just sort of convincing the team after what happened last time, which uh, makes sense. I mean, they saw a guy die using the technology, so uh, not going to be as on board. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, it. Uh, they got there in the end, but not through uh, <laughs> not through any kind of uh, like. Uh, yeah, really, what sold them was robots are cool. <laughs> that definitely seemed to be what did it. Uh, I mean, they all seemed a lot more interested after they learned what it was all about, about controlling giant robots. And then once they saw uh, Cammy do it, they were, both the other two were on board as well. So uh, <laughs> that's kind of fun. Uh, it's not out of it. Not out of any kind of concern for the future or anything like that. It's just because, okay, this is kind of awesome. We want in. Uh, it's uh, it's fun. <laughs> it's a fun show. I uh, still not really sure of a lot of things like uh, what's going on with this war that we got. Uh, I mean, there was a lot of exposition at the start, and it was pretty dense. I I I, I, I might have missed something. I'll have to rewatch it. I'm not gonna do it now. But uh, I, I don't think they've really said anything definitive about who the Union are, like, really. Uh, except just the evil bad guys. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there was a lot, of, uh, a lot of back and forth, both with the Doctor and uh, the Commander there. And then with uh, Valentina and that other chick. I, uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I, I think it became more interesting once we had, uh, the robots back in play and just all that, because that was fun. It was a fun little demonstration, and, uh, it just, even before we got to that part, just seeing them get used to controlling the robots, that's kind of exciting and kind of neat and just interesting. And I look forward to seeing the robots actually get custom, uh, like customized for the three of them 
Uh, I mean, we see them in the intro, so there's not going to be like a lot of surprise. But uh, yeah, I just I want to see them all. I I, I just want to see it happen. Uh, I guess. Uh, and I'm getting more used to the characters. Uh, Cammy definitely is the standout. Valentina, though, she's cool too. I really like her. Uh, I uh, <laughs> the others. I mean, they're the pretty okay. Uh, Julian, he's, uh, I mean, <laughs> kind of boring, but I mean, <laughs> the, his circumstance is interesting. His, uh, his, uh, the fact that he's like in a tube and, uh, he's this disembodied ghost, as I called him, pretty much, uh, that's, uh, that's interesting. That makes him a bit more, uh, <laughs> bit more interesting. The Japanese guy, I, I think that, I, I still I, I kind of feel like that's a mistake. I, I just, it feels harder to connect with him because of that. Uh, because, uh, I mean, I read subtitled animes and I connect with those characters, but just, uh, I don't know. There's a lack of immersion just because he's the only one, I guess. It's like, uh, it's, it, it stands out in a weird way. I, uh, but, uh, yeah, Kazu, as uh, this episode <laughs> made uh, quite a point to help us remember his name. Uh, though again, it's weird if she's like a big manga reader that she would find that name all that strange. Uh, I I just I don't know. Uh, gotta gotta work on the on the writing a little bit, make it make it a bit tighter. <laughs> But, uh, and that's in general, I think. I think there is a bit of, uh, it could be a bit tighter in general. Uh, which, uh, I don't know. I mean, you could probably say the same thing about Ruby, but there. This is trying really hard to be, like, really serious and, uh, like, uh, just dense in terms of, uh, the stuff and high concept and all that stuff and it, it just I, I i think it's more important here than it is with ruby which is more uh i don't know <laughs> ruby's great but uh yeah uh i <laughs> i don't know not really sure what to say else beyond that uh in terms of that kind of thing but uh yeah this was this was fun the soundtrack i'm liking uh we got like two uh two vocal songs in this episode i don't remember if we had any before i might not have noticed them uh, obvi uh other than obviously the intro uh but uh it's pretty clear here that eventually rooster teeth will release a soundtrack for this show and uh that'll be pretty cool uh Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm interested to see where it goes from here. I. Uh, I'm. <laughs> I think I ran out of things to say. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the reaction. Let me know if you did, and see you in the next one.